Hi, welcome back to my uh, channel, Ren Country Sticks. Uh, as I mentioned in the, uh, the last video where we repaired the um, the, the bandsaw, uh, we've got a Texel to do. I um, don't think I've ever done a Texel before, but we'll give it a bash. We've got the uh, the block drawn out. Uh, not a pretty sight, but we'll see what we can do. It's very hard to find a good side profile of a Texel. Um, the head on isn't so bad. You've got them there, you've got a good one there, but you try and find a, a, a really good side profile and as I say it's, uh, it seems difficult to do. Um, ideally uh, you're looking for something dead on so you know you're not at a, any particular angle. Um, so we'll just have to see how we go on with uh, what we've chosen. Um, ears can be a problem. You have to watch where uh, the grain is. And uh, as I say, we've taken these two profiles uh, of uh, different pictures. So uh, the idea is to try and get them both uh, the same proportion, get the eyes and the ears and everything in the right place, and um, put the two together. How it's going to work out, I don't know. Now you see, here we've got the ears sticking out. The customer said um, his sheep's ears go up more like a rabbit's. Well, you know, maybe I don't know. Uh, I don't know the text. Now here we've got on the photographs a lot of them go uh, forward. You see, like that. Um, so we're going to see if we can can, can do that. Um, the actual uh, carving might stand, or the ears might stand a better chance of survival if uh, they're not completely stuck out. So um, we're going to bandsaw this and see how we go on, and uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Obviously not while we're bandsawing, but anyway, uh, we'll be back as soon as we've got something for you. Right, okay, well we've not bandsawed yet. I had to take a slice off uh, to get that under my uh, quarter inch uh, bladed bandsaw and what we've found is that inside. Whether that's going to be a problem or not I don't know. Uh, it, it may cause a problem, it depends on how far it goes in, whether it's going to affect the ears. It's the ears I'm worried about most of all. So I think it might finish there but uh, we shall have to see. You never know what you're going to find in timber. Back soon. Right, okay, so the first side's been uh, bandsawed out. Uh, it's been a bit, I don't know what you call it, difficult with all the different shades. We're trying to keep this block all in one. So we're going to do the front now. We're going to hot glue these two bits together as per usual, as per normal. You've seen it all before in previous videos. Nothing new, and uh, then we're going to and saw that out then. We'll see what we're left with. Back soon. Okay, here we are again. Right, so the uh, thing's been cut out and uh, we've been here before. <laughs> Doesn't look anything like. So uh, let's see where we go from now. Uh, I'm going to take a break now. Uh, my knees are hurting again and uh, it's time to go indoors. But uh, as soon as we've got a little bit done on this, we'll come back and uh, show you what we're doing. So we'll have to mark this out, see where the waste is uh, going to be taken off. Uh, rough carving to start with, no, not much progress being made. And then slowly we refine it, refine it. And uh, you know what I'm going to say. Take the bits off that don't look like a taxel sheep. Easier said than done. So... We'll be back very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Right, so uh, basically the first cut I've made is just to take this bulk away from uh, the face. You can see we've got that area there. So that's where the ear will be. So that one's taken off. And uh, we'll do the other side now. Uh, obviously, there wants to be more taken off. We want to take all that off there. So we've got an ear on this side. Slowly, slowly, and we'll get there. Okay, so we've taken a wee bit more material off, as you can see. Uh, we're leaving plenty of bulk on at the moment, uh, until we get our proportions and everything right. So, let's say, 
easier to take it off later on than try and put it back on when you've taken too much off. So we'll do the same with the other side now. And uh, I suppose you want me, you want to see me working, do you? It's amazing how many people want to see me working. So we'll see if we can get the camera. Oh yeah, you can see that. Right, okay, okay. There you are, you see me working. So we've taken quite a bit off both sides. I want some more of that side, but uh, we're just taking bulk off at the moment. Let's take a bit more off this side, I think. And remember, we've got lots of pictures which we're working from. And that's your real guide that, unless you've got a, a texel in the back garden, that's the real guide. So, so far what we've used is these two. And just round things up a little bit, take a bit off the back, not much. What do you reckon? 
Does it look like a tax truck yet? <laughs> I don't think so. Now, I'm going to be very careful on the next bits. And uh, so I will be back as soon as we've got a bit more done.